Uh, get out of view as well. It's getting a bit cold now. Got some extensions done. Extending the veranda. It's much better now. So I'm going to clean this area up and put a workbench here. Should be good. Hmm, nothing much else been happening. Uh, dust this off and put this in storage. I don't really want to um, trash it, even though it still runs perfectly fine as it is and works. If I take the motor off and just mount the uh, generator half, but the bearing is all in here. Part of this is all part of the bearing that suspends the rotor in there. But yeah, leave it as it is. Too much hat messing around. If it was an older style, like a vintage rubber there, and that is separate, it'd be better. But these newer ones, it's just too like disposable to reuse. Oh, yeah. Carefully put your fingers and turn your motors up by the fins. Yelch. Yeah. A 15 amp outlet on something as low powered as this. Very common Chinese outlet in these little generators. Why would you put a 15 amp outlet? Stupid. There's no way in hell that's capable of putting it anywhere near 15 amps. I'll see how um, I can draw arcs and stuff with it. It's got protection. I should pull that breaker out. Just see what sort of a wiring's behind there. Just see how, um, what the rating of that breaker is, even though it's only a 650 watt generator. Yeah, let's do some not good to use to burn stuff out with. It's got thickish windings in it. I think it's just the um the uh, stator part, the windings and the um, armature windings are the thinnest. That be the weak point. This video I could put a, um, a same matching three phase motor inside this as a stator to generate power, depending on how it's wired though. It's got two wires to the capacitor and these are your two outputs for single phase. So this is a two, your single phase 240 volts here, active and neutral. And this is like an, um, an excited capacitor, a um, uh, power factor collection. Yeah, I might make a little uh, fuel tech and shroud for it and all that. Do some more testing with that. Got some more fuel too, so I can make a decent mix for it and run it properly. Alright, time to get to this washing machine. So I go under this bolt and that bolt. And I can pull this motor out. I'm going to replace it heaps of these. I need a work experience at a repair shop. There was piles of these motors. We had heaps. So it's a fairly common motor for this uh, these Simpsons, these later model Australia made Simpsons. So I've got to get a new motor from a local repair shop. So drain hose. Uh, the top whole top section, the door hinges are broken. But if I could replace that in the control panel, that'd be enough because the control panel is a bit sunburnt. So I can get the, the new control panel to match this off a of junk one. And they, uh, the door mechanism hinges, this would be pretty much good to go. It's the only thing that's got just cosmetic other than the motor. That's the only thing that's wrong with this thing. If I bring it up to uh, get it up to uh, spruce it up. I can install this. That's my uh, intention is fix it up and sell it. Wash machines go uh, like crazy on these uh, fast swap soil groups because everyone wants them. That works. That's to break these because these burn out too on these machines. When you open the lid, it stops it straight away. It's a break in there. So it's a 13, might be a 12, uh, 11. No, 10. Oh, might be 11 or. But it's not Imperial, or well, hopefully, anyway, it's an Australian machine. You can use a motor. It's even colour cut as if it's a three phase motor. And the way this works is it's like a triac in the lid and a circuit board inside that control cabinet. And this thing actually speeds up and actually physically turns backwards and forwards to agitate the, the clothes. It's not like the older ones where you got a gearbox and the motor moves and spins forward for the spin and the motor runs at reverse for the agitation. It doesn't do that. These newer machines is a um, triac that drives these. It physically runs the motor backwards and forwards to actually agitate. So, 
it's a single phase matter. It looks like it's three phase, but it'd be wired differently in terms of the windings are uh, wired differently. I could aim it up and see what it aims up at. If it's all the same 10 ohms around or thereabouts depending on the motor, if I get a consistent reading between all three of these uh, connections, I'll try it on a VFD and see if it does nothing. Yeah, pretty common these motors. Just go take this into my local uh, appliance repair shop and uh, see if they've got one in the back. That's all that's really wrong with this motor. Replace that, this machine is good to go because I could actually stop the drum with my hand. This had no torque. It's worn out. So I want to replace this too. The sun's just wrecked it. The uh, model number 22S822F04. I've got to write that down and quote that when I get parts. Because the last uh, mosh machine I fixed was Fisher and Park, or I did the bearing um, service on. Very successful repair that one. They had plenty of parts for that at the back, so. Hopefully I get lucky with this one. Should get should get a pretty good profit for it, even though I got that for free, so yeah. Why not, eh? Let's save up these windings. About 20 ohms between each of these pairs of windings and up will be about 20 ohms, so. Hmm. Looks like it's a three-phase motor. Double checked, I've got 20 ohms between there and there, 20 ohms between there and there, there and there. Aim up all the same. Works alright. Well, there's bearings. I'm not getting hot. No, don't get hot in my smoke, so it's. It's evenly uh, no hot spots. <laughs> well, there you go. It's not totally junk. I can uh, reuse, I can repurpose that motor on a VFD. It's just driving a three-phase motor. Ten hertz. Whoa, got some torque. Feels even too. Fingers caught in the fan. Huh. Look to look at that. She runs on yeah, definitely not hot spots on like a pedestal fan set up. Turns out it's a three phase motor. How <laughs> good's that? I can recycle this old motor. Bonus. <laughs> Beautiful. I think this is going to be a new fan motor. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. So once I replace this motor and that machine, I can get that machine going again. This thing has weak, weak torque on the mains. 240 volts in that machine. Perfect for this. Oh well, I get to repurpose the old motor instead of it going on a scrap. Bonus. There we go, you want to get a three-phase motor, look for these um, mid-90s, mid to late 1990s Simpson washing machines. You see one on the side of the road? And if it's not worth fixing, this is the sort of motor they're most likely to use. And grab it too if you get a chance. Grab it, because it's good for a VFD. There's no hot spots or smoke. Based on my own readings, it's within the tolerances of the VFD, so it's basically a three-phase motor. 
is a triac that runs between here and here to vary the speed, and one switches the other two around. Uh, well, no, two are switched around for the matter to run backwards. So it runs backwards to do the, um, you know, agitate. It physically rocks backwards. This thing physically turns backwards and forwards by the triac controlling it to actually agitate the machine. A more reliable method of actually uh, direct driving a washing machine rather than the new inverter ones like Fisher and Park we use. So, I'll uh, go past the appliance repair shop during the week and hopefully I can, they'll have one of these in stock. I'll write down the model number, bring the, uh, the motor, bring the motor in and say I want one of these motors to go with it. And hopefully I'll get a, but most likely have one, so. They're a pretty common machine, so. How good is that? A three phase motor. Beautiful. <laughs> Who would have thought? I can whack one of these in there to fix the wash machine up or upgrade it. Upgrade the electronics and put a big ass motor in there. So instead of it being, uh, I think it's a seven, I think it's a seven and a half, seven and a half kilo, I think it is, is it? If I remember. Seven kilo machine. So if I put a big beef up the control circuitry for a heavy current, and I could put a 2 horsepower, a 3 phase motor in there and I could turn it to a 70 kilogram machine <laughs> oh yeah you can supercharge it <laughs> anyway that'll be enough for now thanks for watching